Don't let what we think is better ruffle your feathers or pins or like assholes and assholes or like podcasts. Everybody, Everybody has one. one. From left to right, we got the future teller, Yego Domus in the building. <laughs> we got the brain, Podzilla, Nino Green in the building. We got Black Jesus, Arco in the building. We God got, bless y'all. We got City of Jim Productions, Chuck in the back with the facts. And today we got a special guest with us it's my boy stefan s1 in the building moment of silence for the competition one time for the queen is not here now i need you to make some noise for your motherfucking boy amen amen Y'all know the same questions, different days. How's everybody's energy? How was everybody's week? Anything exciting? Um, I'm cool, you know. We're going to, we're going to stay Saturday. So okay. Ready for that. Uh, my daughter's birthday today. Happy birthday. It's just my daughter. Hey, happy birthday. <laughs> Remember I said that? Yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what nah. that reference is from. But nah, you know, shout out to Justo. She just turned five today, so. Okay, then. That's Big five. Mm -hmm. What you got going on, brother? Uh, <clears throat> Y'all remember last week I told you I had to go take that test? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your boy passed that test. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you were. I, I, I told you. I told y'all, niggas. <laughs> mm -hmm. I told y'all. Now, I ain't going to lie. I wasn't as confident as I sound because when I found out what they was testing me on, I'm like, bro, I haven't did that shit since, like, 10th grade, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. But uh, the test, it was super simple. Like, it started off with, like, simple addition, shit like that, and then it started crossing over to, um, like, division, multiplication, shit like that, and then I started seeing letters and shit, like A, Plus this squared. My, I'm like, ah, oh, mm -mm. you motherfuckers. <laughs> you motherfuckers. I had to sit on the thinking chair and think. Mm -mm. Think. Think. Yeah, I, that was your shit, huh, Chuck? <laughs> Chuck was like, boy, you just took me back. <laughs> nah, but I passed that test, man. Um, I was able to catch, like, the first episode and half of the Vince McMahon. Okay, okay. I got into, like, the first episode and a half, man. Finish it yet? Nah, I got a slow, I got a slow cooking, Chuck. Mm, mm, mm. It's a lot of shit going on, man. I got a lot of shit to handle, man. I couldn't turn it off. Yeah. Hey, you for real? Know. When did you get to watch it, though? I started it last uh The Wednesday. day it came out. I watched like an episode and a half. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I finished it all like a night or two ago. Okay. Yeah. Binge watched it. I watched all six episodes the day it came out. Damn. M mo cap it's something like what chuck did you know what i'm saying a few days with it probably like two or three nights with it i, I watched all of it but okay well it's tight though that's what i we about to talk about that a little bit before we get into <clears throat> the topic so let me i watch a little bit of that and uh now prepare myself for the day what you been up to brother man same old same old man got to keep on pushing you know what i'm talking about shit yeah, just working bro and Trying to do the best I can. That's right, it. Right. What's up, bro? Talk to Nathan, us, bro. Stefan. Tell What's us something right? good. Tell, tell the people Shit. about you, man. Where you come from? What man, you into? You already know. I'm from Main Street area. You already know Main Street, baby. But shit, I be staying out the way, bro. You know how I do. I'm all about being a good dad. You feel me? Working and shit all the time. Right now, I'm in the breeding dogs. European Great Danes, you know, happy that we got the medical, uh, all that been cleared. Now we get to do recreational here in, in Ohio. You yeah, feel me? Sure. So, you know, I've been on that grow thing like that. My boy is a master grower. So, besides that, I've just been living, you know, chilling, trying to make sure everything cool. That part is chilling, bro. Chuck, tell me something good, big dog. What you been up to? I went to Ohio State with uh, Trotwood Pee Wee team that I record for. Mm -hmm. Got to get down on the field, like out on the field. On that turf. Mm -hmm. How'd that feel? 
good. <laughs> it's <him> good. <laughs> <laughs> that that shit, what, they, that should be soft, don't it? That's what's up. Mm-hmm. It's annoying though, cause you gotta dump that shit out. Them your little beats. You know, I hate them little beats. Look, you sound like a professional. Like you done been out there before. <laughs> Beat it, turf. Shout out to Vernon turf. Davis. Yeah, go beaming. <clears throat> All right, so let's talk about this Vince McMahon shit for a little bit, man. Have you seen any of it? Nah. You got to check it out, Vince, bro. Vince McMahon is. Because even if you're not like an yeah. avid wrestler watcher like me and bro, we still knee deep in this shit. We watch this shit, you know what I mean? Oh. Mm-hmm. But even for the person that's not the everyday wrestling, right. why, this is a documentary that you need to see. Everybody mm-hmm. know Vince McMahon, you feel me? Is it, but yeah. you, think well, you, you, you know like yes. a layer yeah. of Vince McMahon. You know yeah. the personality, the you motherfucker he wants you. Character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Everything Vince he do, on, that's all a uh, dude yeah. is really like a, a mob boss for real. Yeah. That nigga yeah. got the... Awesome. He always gave that, that, uh, that background vibe, that you know that power, that power type vibe behind yeah. the scenes. So hey. you already... Yeah. If but it's like that, that high, times, you gotta be low key shysty than a motherfucker. <laughs> it's like what you see on camera times ten, though. Yeah, for sure. Like, I believe uh, it though. He didn't even know his dad. You know, his dad owned WWF before he did. You know, I know that nigga. He didn't even know his daddy till he was twelve. It be like that. Some people don't. He was staying in a trailer home. That's crazy work. Mm-hmm. His daddy owned like a promotion, like, and it wasn't as nowhere near as big as it is now, but it was still yeah, a big it. thing. You feel me? Yeah. <clears throat> this motherfucker, uh, he, when he met his daddy, he started hanging with his dad a lot, but his dad was on some like uh don't know how to love type shit. Yeah. On some uh what was it? Maybe I was just watching some shit daddy. where uh mm-hmm. Pretty much. I was watching some type of some show. I think it was called Gunpowder or something like that. Mm-hmm. And the dude, uh, his son, his, his baby mama had died when his when she had the baby. Mm-hmm. So he was like, he never was able to have a connection with his son because he felt like it was his fault that his baby mama died. So he was, so when you say that, like on some don't even know how to love type shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't resonate with that. But you know, we we take care of our we kids do that. Yeah, here. You feel me? This generation do. You feel me? But yeah, it's a lot of people like that. So many different ways. Cause you know, I work in the group homes too. So mm-hmm. that's all I work with is kids who, you feel me, traumatized. You feel me? They go through all types of stuff. Some kids, it ain't their parents' fault <clears throat> that they just and is so impoverished that they can't or to take care of their mm-hmm. kids. Don't even mean that they ain't got good parents, though. Yeah, the shit, they probably couldn't afford the abortion. For sure. If it was That's optional, cool. they probably would have took that option. You feel me? And speaking on kids and loving their kids, I just got to say, this man right here has the happiest kids I have ever seen in my life. I ain't gonna hold like, real shit. I'd be on the phone with bruh, and he might go to the store to get something to smoke out of. When he get back, his kids greet him like he been at work for 12 hours, bro. That's <laughs> no cap. How old is your kids, bro? Shit, I got an eight-year-old, a six-year-old, a five-year-old, and a three-year-old. Yep, for sure. You love him to death, bro. Yep. I be my thinking that shit nine. is so tight. Like, my kids, all my kids done grew out the, uh, Yeah. I went. I took King his book bag today. And when that nigga, he came out, gave me big love, like, <laughs> long hug, though. I'm like, oh, all right, I ain't got this in about a year and a half, man. I'm fucking with this. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I didn't lock the door on, bro. You can you grab that for me, Chuck? Um, but, yeah, Vince McMahon, uh, I don't want to just explain the story by myself. Y'all have seen this, too. I don't want to say so too much because you haven't yeah, seen. I'll stop you, but we still on the first episode about how he came up. Shit we didn't know yeah, from like the surface, Charlie. you feel me? Mm-hmm. The nigga's was, daddy, uh, no, go ahead. he kept begging his daddy to be in the business, right? So it got to a point to where the nigga's daddy let him... Um, what did he come in as a commentator? A, yeah, commentator. Yeah, yep. Came in as, as a commentator. Or was it a ring announcer? He was he a ring not, announcer. He said he was sweeping up the uh 
sweeping up the he arenas was, oh, and whatever. he did a little bit of commentating. He did a little bit of everything. And slowly you know, but surely, ground, like his sure. daddy really didn't give it to him easy yeah. at all. For it yeah, to be as really easy as for as easy as we probably would have made it for our kids, like he still treated this treated him like an intern, like a real life, you really gotta work for what you want type shit. Hey. He treated mm -hmm. his kids like that too. Most definitely made them work in the business mm -hmm. and probably really put them on a payroll, like and live yeah. off of that. The further you get mm -hmm. in, you the more see. I'll realize. Okay, so You're talking about Vince McMahon. So it gets to a point to where um, it gets to a point to where his daddy is ready to lead a business, and he's ready to give it to somebody that's like a business partner named Gorilla Monsoon. I heard his name all the time. I knew he was a wrestler and shit, but I didn't know how involved he was with the beginning of the WWF. I so think that's why they call the little backstage area gorilla. But I could oh, the wrong. gorilla position but that I makes a lot of sense. I think you so. feel me? Hey, hey, boy. Hey, <laughs> you might be you. You probably right though. So mm -hmm. Vince McMahon stepped in and was like, you know, sell it to me, Dad. And his dad was on the fence about it for real, like you know, not really fucking with it like that. And he told his dad like, um, I'll buy it in payments. What is it four? Yep. Four. I'll buy it in four payments. I'll give you some now, quarter down the road, quarter every quarter of the year, I'll break you off. And his daddy still wouldn't own it until he told his daddy, if I'm late on one payment, you get your business back and you get to keep all the money that I gave you. Oh yeah, he was about that bread. Hey, he mm -hmm. was certain. It is yeah. named after Gorilla Monsoon. Is it? It is. Yeah, because yeah. he would always stand there during the pay-per-views. My nigga is the hey, fuck. Hey, I, hey, I, I don't know if y'all know, know this or not. <laughs> and I didn't know that. Yes, you did. <laughs> I mean, I knew it, but I didn't know that. You feel me? <laughs> Y'all heard me call this nigga the future teller Yego Dumas at the beginning of this <laughs> pie, right? That Usher song. I'm early. trying to tell you. Now, hey, I don't never doubt my nigga. You feel me? I'm never amazed. I've I seen it happen too many times. But yeah, he ended up, basically he ended up uh, paying his dad off the business. And then, uh, like, they own, like, the New York upstate area. Then it was all these different promotions around the sit around the, the country. And they all was on some like drug dealer shit. I respect you. You got this area. I got this area. We could all get money. It's cool. Vince McMahon came in there like, fuck all that. Nigga, we about to start going to California. We about Everything. to start going to Texas. We about to and he started stealing all these yeah. people's the best all the wrestlers. Crim, all the, the best wrestlers, bro. And putting them on one show. And putting niggas out of business. Yeah, because when WWF started, everybody forgot about the rest of that shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. WCW, ECW, Back, all that shit. Mm -hmm. Nobody give a fuck about none of that. He <laughs> ended up buying up. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I thought it started with <clears throat> WCW, ECW, because he bought them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this nigga, like, been doing this. Like, yeah. them was the last of the Mohicans for real. Facts. Uh, yeah, man. It's a dope, dope. What did you think about it, bro? What was your takeaways? Mine. Yeah. Man, I I thought it was crazy as fuck how we was letting this nigga just get away with what the fuck ever he wanted to do. And ain't nobody do or say anything to him because he was the boss. What you think? Yeah. Now, me, like, growing up watching wrestling, you know what I mean? Like, I... I never really liked Vince McMahon. You know what I'm saying? Like and that was that I, was his goal. I was a, I was a Stone Cold fan. You know what I'm saying? Like I couldn't stand Vince McMahon. But uh, I just me watching me watching this documentary is just like, bro. Like I got a little more respect for him to be honest, bro. Because for the, the character, man, the man, no, just for the man, for the man. Because like he really got it out the mud. You know what I'm saying? And he 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 made himself a boss. You know what I'm saying? And like that's just what I respect about it really. And a lot of people don't accept the decisions he had to make. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause he when you a boss, you gotta make tough decisions. You know what I'm saying? It's For not sure. it ain't gonna be easy. You know what I'm saying? And like he just he kept it going, you know what I'm saying? Like he no figured out what. a way, you know, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just what I respect about it. But it wasn't Man, it's just the the shit that go on 
within the within the wrestling entertainment business is just crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I had no idea all that shit, all the drugs and yeah. all of that. Just me being crazy. a kid, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Looking at it, it was just like you you're not really paying attention to that shit. You feel me? Like that man, how many cases did he beat? Gosh. Man, what is man? Bro, Vince was on there beating cases, bro. And he kept coming back like Michael Myers on their ass. Like, would y'all say that? Vince McMahon is top ten business minded people in the world. That's like top five. Top yeah, five. For real. For sure, like top three if we nigga, just talking sports entertainment. Nigga, he put Donald he had Donald Trump on the show. Yeah, who did yeah. he have? Yeah, he is, right. he worked the Trump whole program with Dennis Donald Rodman. Trump. <laughs> you said Mike Tyson. You said Vince McMahon is who Donald Trump would like to be. Yeah. That says a lot. Be. Hey. Mm-hmm. I ain't finished the documentary, but here's what I the I have a problem with like the more diabolical a person is, like if they just play themselves and the more evil they are, we don't yeah. want to think that that's really them, but that was bruh. Yeah. Like, like, just like you, Diddy, like it wasn't an act for real. Did mm-hmm. you hear? Kind did, of. Did but, you see, you but you the got part, Go ahead. Did you hear the part when he said, um, where they asked Denver everybody and then they asked him and he was the only one that disagreed? Like, do you think the character Vince McMahon? is the same as the person Vince McMahon. You know, the character Mr. McMahon, do you think it's the same as the person? Nah, but mm-hmm. that's not surprising. Nobody agreed with him but him. That he makes the sense. only one that was like, no, that's not me. That is me. Yeah, yeah. Like everybody else was like, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's Vince, man. Hey, that's yeah. him. Like, it's just, it might be amplified. It might be a little bit For turned up too much. Purposes, but, but nigga, that's him. Dude is really like that. Yeah. All right, so... While we on Vince McMahon and you brought up Donald Trump and you said Donald Trump aspires to be Vince McMahon, I got something I would like to read to y'all, man. Let me see. Pull it up. (laughs) Trump Trump suggests terrifying solution to ending crime. (laughs) The Purge. (laughs) At a rally on Sunday in Erie, Pennsylvania, Trump casually seemed to suggest that one day of violence will put an end to crime. Trump declared the rep Mike Kelly should be put in charge for one really violent day. One rough hour, and I mean real rough. The world will get it out, and it will end immediately. End immediately, you know. It will end immediately, he added without sharing any logistics. The concept mirrors a fictional film series called The Purge, in which all crime is legal for 12 hours on a single day of the year. At least one film in the franchise takes aim at the previous Trump administration. His dangerous remark Sunday came on the heels of his saying that crime is skyrocketing, a false claim that the far right uses the fear monger. He also echoed the lie that the supposed rise in crime is the fault of migrants. The twice impeached former president has a documented pattern of using violent rhetoric and inciting violence, including the head of the January 6, 2021 Capitol insurrection that led to five deaths after Trump's loss in the 2020 election. Recently, he was warned that there will be a bloodbath if he lost the election. Trump's rally in Erie, Pennsylvania on Sunday came ahead of his scheduled October 5th return to Butler, Pennsylvania, the location of his first assassination attempt in July. You know what? That nigga want to die. (laughs) This shouldn't surprise us, though, because, like, the first time he ran his rallies was damn near, like, like on some hood shit, cause like they was fighting anybody who had it. Like you could show up to a Trump rally. We were supposed to be able to show up to a Trump rally mm-hmm. and be like, "Fuck Trump with a sign," and you could still be able to go home. Nah, they was putting their hands on your ass in that crowd. Like, and he was like, "Yeah, yeah, do that shit." Yeah, kill him. <laughs> 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 like, for real. So like. The the January sixth shit, okay. That don't surprise us none. He a fucking big ass cry, baby. I lost, but go fuck some shit up because we lost. We shouldn't have. Okay. And then now, like that sound like some shit he really a believe in too. Like, yeah. I don't go know. Go smoke your ops and then for the rest of the year you could obey the law. I don't think he has anybody that that he can speak to that gives him sound advice. I don't think he takes sound advice. No. Everybody's got to be a yes man to be around Trump because as soon as you're telling, hey, bro, you tripping. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, you play so much. Yeah. <laughs> he, he might, that person might end up there. And then you get yanked by the neck, like, come here. <laughs> Security. Never, never seen shit. again. <laughs> hey. To me, Trump, one of them old school motherfuckers, like, 
You feel me? Like, there's people in the hood like that. It's just one of them old school people. Like, you just can't even, you got to disregard most of the shit that they say. Like, mm-hmm. like they ain't got no filter. It's almost like a little kid. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah, for sure. So, with him, I mean, you got to think, they just but try to, try to mark his ass twice this year. They just had the one dude actually popped him. The other dude, th- if they ain't spot him out there in the bushes, he would they he was about to get popped again. You feel me? So you gotta think he out here feeling like two pop, fifty cent, all type of people, people right now, bro. He done damn near been popped. If they really wanted him popped, they should have got Yo Gotti's contact Ooh, information. Bro. This nigga, that little young gunner. For eight hundred more dollars, <laughs> <laughs> you get the Real upgraded, crash. get him out of here, That's package. Uh, hire a crash out. <laughs> hey, y'all remember on Gotham though? I repeated to Dolph. Y'all seen some Gotham? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Gotham? Remember on Gotham? Man, I love Gotham. When um when the Penguin had, had everybody get a license to do crime. Yeah, it was like some shit that, like that's that. Crazy you that's that up, type though. shit. That's what I'm Trump watching right now. On. What Gotham? I'm watching Penguin, the episodes of oh, Penguin okay. on, on oh, okay, yeah, see, it's hip yet. fire oh, too. I'm I'm check check He's so gangster, boy. You thought Scarface was fire, bro? Criminal this, mastermind, bro. Savage, bro. He's so so grimy. Ain't no Batman in this shit neither. It's just like straight, Gotham. So he just running mafia. Gotham, okay? Nah, yeah, it, it's Gotham. really starting off him as a, like a regular foot soldier. Like it's really showing him yeah. as. You feel me? Come you up. know, the, the mob bosses living in the houses with the maids and the butlers and shit. Mm-hmm. He really the one running the whole drug operations and killing yeah. everybody and hitting licks and like dealing uh, with all the shit. He, oh, he, yeah. the, he really the one running that shit, mm-hmm. but they the ones that yeah, get the credit it, for you everything. You feel me? So it's, it's really his life story of how he became the kingpin mm-hmm. of Gotham. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And he taking over the mafia, playing people against it. What you watching that on? It's on uh, HBO Max okay. right now. Okay. So, I HBO, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. HBO do not miss when it comes to shit oh, like that. So, yeah. DC, I'll anything wait for the DC next is on, gonna be on HBO. Okay. Mm-hmm. Kind of. You know, the CW, they oh, had yeah. the Flash, Green Arrow. They dip in. But can, you, I'm pretty sure you can see that shit. They threw me off like with, this, with this Penguin shit because it's so gangster on some... Yeah, it's like, dark, it like it ain't, Yeah, like when you think... On some Gotham shitty, uh, 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 what is that? A Marvel character or, or not DC. a Marvel? A DC. Yeah. So when you think that, you think of some superhero Batman shit. Like, mm-hmm. nah, bro. It's like some gangster shit. Like you would For be sure. watching Powers or mm-hmm. Snow Snowfall or some shit like that. Right. Yeah. So listen, how many people are opposed to a one <laughs> one day of violence? I'm me. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Not, we don't need that. Yeah, me neither. That's going to leave a lot of extra violence in the aftermath. You Come on, yeah. Of First of all, <laughs> thinking that it's going to stop after yeah, an yeah. hour. I was just about to say yeah, that. Like, stop, imagine bro. you hit the... You hit the your but head just think about it. You kill my loved one, and then at the hour mark, it's like, <laughs> you all right, you got to chill. All right, let me up, motherfucker. Nigga, you done damn near started a gang. Time's up, nigga. This is how gangs are created, bitch. But you got to think about this, though. Chicago. That's just the the small minded shit. That oh, let me go smoke my ops. It's legal right now. Now think about the people who really thinking. Like while me. they trying to respond to that and keep that shit, you know what I'm saying? Survivors and whatever. I'm they got bank. niggas, banks. I'm going to you the got bank. niggas the doing dispo. other shit. I'm yeah, going right to the bank. yeah. Wait to That'll say that. change the world, bro. Guess it. what? But then you got people we who think bigger than that. Now you got niggas taking CEOs hostage, bitch ass nigga. You got sixty minutes to open it to get. Clear everything out on smoke in your you ass say for Kevin free. Lyles wouldn't he get a chance been. to step it's down. He should have been though. prepared for that hour. <laughs> nah, bitch. It's deep. Uh, you got that you money, got, should have been you got politicians. People, people to, it's going to be people trying to whack their family members that might be a mm-hmm. been a doctor for exactly. 45 years. Yep. And we need that life insurance. A, you feel me? It, it's yeah. a fuck the whole world Let's up, do bro. it. Like, for real. That'd be ridiculous. Hold on, wait. You said you was against it, though, right? No, I was about to say, I hope we didn't talk you into it. doctor about to get one. Jump. Your family members I'm going to hit a bank This nigga's done about Let's do it I'm not going to kill nobody But the nah. fucking bank Bleed <laughs> 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 them dry huh? I'm going to be driving past Watching niggas kill mm. a nigga Like damn Why would he do that Straight to US Bank Straight to, <laughs> straight to it's chase gonna be, It's going to be 50 other people at the bank <laughs> They going to be Y'all going to be Drilling it out right there Trying to get the money Type shit Yep, yep. Shit I'm going to Nope 
He said, I'm John Wick there. activated. I would have been there. <laughs> As soon as I heard about it, I, that was the first thing I was yeah, thought nah, about. That shit's just a terrible idea. Terrible. It made a great movie, but terrible idea. It was it was some it was some fly shit to say, I guess, at the moment. You feel me? You know how he he wild style. So yeah, for him, he like gun ho with everything. So for so, him, he probably thought that shit was popping when he said it, but didn't even think for real. Mm-hmm. Donald don't Trump he, don't he, never he think, think before yeah, he say he something. Right. Wanted, he ain't got to, no filter. They he like the type Tyler. to give yeah. niggas a crime license, like yeah. people. <sighs> like you know how it is. You might see an old school nigga up there at the store. Like, that's just, um. Uh. He made the motherfuckers march uh, on the goddamn, uh, I just said it in the, the what's the name. He already January gave 6? motherfuckers and then called them motherfuckers yeah. good people. Hey, what? Then, he uh, said that about the KKK, too. Don't Jeez. don't forget about how he just told them straight up killed them little boys for that shit that happened in New York in that park. And they was found not guilty for that murder. Like, he was just like, nah, fuck them. They savages. Hang them. Like, what the fuck, Trump? You're not even... A politician right now, you just a businessman. So yeah, he he been saying off the record shit for a while now. He gonna always be off the record, bro. For sure. What's up, bro? You got some political ties or something? Man. You ain't uh, saying man. nothing. Man. <laughs> he he hey, said man. he did it my taxes. You know right. something we don't yeah, know? No. Tap me on the on the. <laughs> Shut hey, the fuck what's up? Y'all what's y'all back, Arco. I ain't got nothing else against say. the purge. What's, man? The, what's some positive shit that I'm y'all cool on the purge? Man. Like, like say say some some positive shit and some negative shit about like you feel me, Trump and Biden. You feel me? Let me see. The Apprentice was a pretty good show. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, did man. a good job in his program with Vince McMahon. <laughs> uh, Shout out to Bobby Lashley. For sure, a lot of people got stroke for the PPP loans and all that shit, but the hood got hella money when Trump was in office. That one because of Trump. Shit. I had, to, boy. I had to be... I used to think that, think too. So? I used to go. think that, too, brother. That boy, that boy Trump got slapped in that little go-kart he got riding around this little... <laughs> 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 that nigga riding around to that Jim Jones. That people in the hood talking about some Uncle Trump back when he was giving their ass PPP <laughs> loans and uh, unemployment. He wasn't giving us Nathan. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. All that shit stopped as soon as he came out of the office, though. That nigga gave us Nathan. That's because he didn't want us to have it. Because if he would have wanted us to have it, we would have got some of that after he left out. Just like when we got it, when he got in, all that shit was already set in stone to happen anyway. He was against it from the dribble. I had to learn that. My brothers, I have been delivered. (laughs) (laughs) I used to to call him Uncle Don. (laughs) Uncle Don. That's why I said, you know how many people, I, I ain't never voted. I don't care to vote. You feel me? Never. I feel like, I, nah, even, in, you know, when I turned 18, that was the year we was allowed to vote for Obama and I still didn't vote. You feel me? I did that. That's I the only no, time I voted. Yeah, I did that. And I ain't got no felonies neither. You for feel a president. Me? But I, it, it should sure. be seeming so already pre-determined and shit that I don't really be caring mm-hmm. too shit much WWE about gang. Huh? <laughs> it's a storyline yeah. like WWE. Yeah, I don't, I don't be caring too much to vote for who the president is or none of that because I feel like shit. We're gonna keep living our life how we do anyway. Speaking of like WWE, they was kind of like they mentioned that too in the documentary. Like it's right kind of like the storyline, kind of like it don't predicts but it mimics what's going on in America like pretty much. And this, that shit got me about to have me watch wrestling again for real though. Like how they did how we was at war. Yeah, with yeah. The Iraq, with the uh, Iraq nation Iraq of domination and, and shit like that. Next thing that. you know the Kunabi uh, giant like and just, right. and all these other foreign motherfuckers yeah. just start, you Great know what I mean? <laughs> that's the reason yeah. matter of fact, that's the reason WWE even has a deal with Saudi Arabia. They got a, an event they do mm. every year. Where they go to Saudi Arabia, yeah, mm-hmm. like they That's made crazy. a deal to where um, the Saudi Arabian talent mm-hmm. is like on certain times, like when they go overseas, mm-hmm. they're gonna win no matter what in front of their people. Right, you feel right. me? Yeah. Like. That's so they could play on our ignorance and make it seem like what was my nigga name with the uh, turban? Gender Mahal. Gender Mahal. Mm-hmm. They come over there like they um, the anti-American shit. Like Y'all are so stupid. That's <laughs> that, that. You feel me? They like play it with Hulk Hogan. They play on our ignorance. They yeah. get the been doing. It. They're the hero, and they and they and they here. Yeah, they pretty much. You know we the villains saying? when we go yeah. over there. If we wrestling one of them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna bring something up, and Chuck, if you smirk, you crack a smile, you giggle, or anything, 
We're going to be on your ass. Oh, did PlayStation what? Network reports global outage. It was right back up, so I don't even know why this was a topic. I Fuck didn't even. See, I ain't about. been on my PlayStation. I ain't been on my PlayStation long hey. in a minute to know. I just seen that and was like, eh? We was right back good, so I didn't understand why this was a topic. Was you on your PlayStation during that when the outage happened? I didn't even feel it. I was out doing something, so yeah, I didn't even feel it. So it, did you hear about it, though, I when it happened? I definitely heard about it. I seen that shit on Facebook like, damn. And the next thing I know, we good, y'all. We jumping. Yeah. Hey, you feel me? <laughs> I, I fucked up on fucking because, like, I waited all weekend for my power to come back on. Yeah, power you was beat back. anyway. <clears throat> power come back. Oh, Man. yeah. What the fuck? PlayStation down. Okay, bro. Fuck it. No, no, no. And speaking of no, no, no. Why didn't I know Dikembe Mutombo died? Oh, my. Because you don't watch Everybody Knows Sports. No, that's where I learned it at. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I did there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, that's where I found it. That's where I got this information from. I was sitting there like, get the fuck out of here. When did dude die? Yeah. Yeah, man. It's RP. crazy. Rest in peace. RP. All right. So that's that on that. Uh-huh. Chuck, we was right back. Roll them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought that was something to talk about, y'all. My bad. All right, let me play this for y'all, man. This kind of fucked me up. Every time we get an advancement in goddamn scientific studies, why the fuck do the... Boy, America care about that almighty dollar more than anything, man. Listen to dollar, this. Dollar, dollar, bill. Has figured out how to regrow teeth using frequency. The problem is, this was in 2006... It's 2024 now. Where's this technology? So they basically use something called low intensity pulsed ultrasound, massages the gums to the stimulate the jaws and encourages growth in the roots of the teeth and aids healing in dental tissue. This guy claims that the root is broken, it can now be fixed. And we have, and because we can regrow the teeth root, a patient could have his own tooth rather than foreign objects in his mouth. Keep in mind though, this would disrupt the industry of fillings, root canals, just about every damn near dental procedure that there is. The way they figured out this worked after they, before they tried it on humans was that they did it on rabbits, which was published in the American Journal of Orthodontics. He then tested the technique on people who needed to get their teeth pulled. Participants held the bulky ultrasound device for 20 minutes a day for four weeks against a tooth that had a problem such as erosion after a root canal. When he looked at the extracted teeth under the microscope, he found new tissue was added to the roots of the treated teeth, but not to the untreated ones. It's just interesting that we don't hear anything about this. It's been so long. I wonder if this is an example of suppressed technologies. If that's the only thing you wonder, I wonder if them three niggas still even alive. Uh, Some Chinese dudes. Mm. I think. I think they look Chinese. I don't want to. Uh oh. Ultrasound waves to read. Be careful. They got, go to... they got laws protecting. Nah, two of them. Two of them is of Asian descent. Okay, there we go. <laughs> See what I did there, and That's one of them is a gender maha. Good job, uh, Alibaba. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn, All bro, right. you was there. Baby. My bad. You was right My there bad, with gang. the gender maha. My bad. I'm sorry. Damn, we. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but what do y'all think? What do y'all think about that? Man, this <clears> is just one more advancement in technology that they gonna hide for the love of money. I think they're trying to have people out here with rabbit teeth. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, yeah, 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 I was about to say, we already just got to go. They just want to make you pay. Them big yeah, ass that, veneers? Man, what? <laughs> Everybody in Hollywood got the same smell. How you just going to have some vibrations grow your teeth back? Nah, there's a package. There's package levels. Uh, yeah, no. Nah, sure. I ain't got the fucked you, up you package. Can get but the, people. <laughs> this the, yeah, you can go <laughs> back to baby teeth. teeth. You can go get the chiclet <laughs> teeth. Hey. You can get the chiclet teeth. Man. And you can get the real deal Holyfields. And then you can get the, oh my God, I love your smiles. <laughs> or you Here can me. get the big ass over by corporate uh, teeth. Uh huh. Yeah, wow. get a boss. You get what you pay for. <laughs> On them grass. Uh, you get them SR twenty twos, cousin. <laughs> you get them like, Sukianas. You go. You go lose a tooth feet and crab legs. Them dang Man, dang. Man. <laughs> he said, "This all yeah. my insurance could do, fam. You got to, you got to work with me, baby." <laughs> yeah, boy, yeah, you get them. You get them motherfucking damn dashes, boy. <laughs> Why would you put a grill over denture? Never mind. Uh, Never mind. That's still to this day, I need answers. Yeah, that's deep. It's something to do. Fuck it. Something to do is. <laughs> hey, something to do. Fuck it. Diamonds the over my Crunchy Black feet. from Three Six Mafia did that. So, well, he put 
he put a gold grill over dentures. Had to. That shit was flopping around in his mouth every time he <laughs> do a bad video. <laughs> Gosh. You ain't seen it? Nah. nah. Look it up. Right. Gold grill over <laughs> dentures is crazy. Who, Dame that Dash? Dame Dash. He talking about oh, crunchy, uh, black. crunchy Black from 36 Mafia. Mafia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, every time he talk, his shit be flapping up and down. <laughs> That's <laughs> tough. <laughs> uh, look him up on one of Vlad interviews. You'll see it. Uh, he said, come on, Glad. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That shit be funny. I'll be looking at his teeth the whole interview. But if this was a, a <laughs> actual thing, would you would you do the um the procedure, the vibrational procedure for new teeth? I would. Yeah, why not? I ain't gonna hold you. Hell yeah. I'm with all that futuristic technology shit. How much do you think that shit would cost? Shit, I would hope. You feel me? That it didn't cost more than the veneers. You feel me? Yeah. I mean, shit. You gonna pay for right. these vibrations? Is this before it catches on and everybody know about it? Look, is this 2006? When you say my say part before. of the experimental yeah, stage? I was about to say because before they perfect the you. Like, uh, he said, "Do uh, I get that introductory?" I mean, you growing back your same teeth you, you, though. You, you might just be goddamn going to go do a Vlad interview and your shit start flapping like, "Damn, <laughs> <laughs> is that a vibrational teeth?" <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna lie, you know, just give it like. Three to six months, whatever over here, you can fly to Turkey and get that shit for uh, the yeah. low ski. I heard Mexico do some uh, good so procedures good, so. for the low too. See, I ain't, so. I don't know. He said, I ain't trusting anything south of the border. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> they, <laughs> they send that shit motherfuckers up and shit down there. I don't trust nobody at this point. Yeah, like America on. looking for the money, young. You can't trust the other countries because, like, if they fuck you up, then what's. Who you gonna tell? I told y'all, Uncle Mac Sam's house. gonna be like, "Well, bet you should have gave that money to me." I told y'all, Mac House, we need to move to Ghana, but no, nobody listen to me until it's too fucking uh, late. Oh shit! You don't listen to Diego until mm-hmm. it's too late. Hey, hey. Hey. Be together, a twelve-step program plan to get there. I just watched this video. They paying us to live there. Of yeah. a motherfucker that flew over to um, where is it? Is it Senegal where Akon is doing that his? Is. Boy, come on, man! It's a whole bu- it's a whole bunch of dirt land. With one building over there that he done put there. Ouch. That sounds like fraud. Yeah. Ghana nah, it like sounds like he had high, what's his name, Dr. Umar? Where the fuck that school? I'm on my brandy yeah. shit. Where the yeah. fuck that school at? <laughs> 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 fuck that school at, man. But yeah, uh, it was just one brick building over there. And I'm like, six, six billion dollar project? Hmm. Would it be? With a B. Mm-hmm. A billion is crazy to have one building. Yep. Like. Yep. That's why we got to go to Ghana. What, so we can get in on that fraud with Akon? Nah. Uh-uh. <laughs> he got Ghana his own. Nothing like what the fuck Akon got going on. <laughs> he got his own cryptocurrency, too, yeah. called Acoin. See what I'm saying? I wonder how much a house is over there anyway. See, bro. Where? In Ghana? Mm-hmm. Cheap. Look it up. Yeah, I know. When I was on, I was on TikTok there for a minute. I was going live. And you can make a lot of money on TikTok, though, because mm-hmm. I ain't never been a go-live type of person. But the little four months I was on there, I made over 13000 on there just going live. Oh, yeah. And they fuck with me heavy over there in South Africa, bro. Like, bro. I don't know what it is. Cape Town, South Africa. And I think another one like Johannesburg or something like that. Mm-hmm. It's behind. But they behind. They money sure. to ours, from what, what I was told, it's our coming. shit, 19 to one over there so oh, yeah, so we take me? some money over there yeah, one dollar for us is nineteen dollars for them Tell you me, feel bro. me mm. oh, yeah. so Tell you me. go over there and really be balling like so what's up outrageous. vacation in ghana that's crazy hey that sound kind of lit they want yeah, us back bro i'm telling you sound what's like up, most- Chuck? we need somebody know. to i don't know if they want him <laughs> God damn. Nah, Chuck, you Malcolm good in Ghana. Hey, say Malcolm X. Hey, I'm, sure, I'm sure I'm sure there's some white Ghanaians over there, <laughs> man. It's for sure a whole bunch of white people over there. Oh, yeah, for sure. sure. It's a is lot they, of light skinned people over there, like a motherfucker. Is they people. technology for it or where what's Ghana like or is it like the promised land? I mean, like if they watch it ain't no shit. motherfucking Wakanda. But oh, yeah, if you, you feel know, me, like it ain't no motherfucking Wakanda. <laughs> like it's still over behind, in Cape Town and Johannesburg, they do everything we do. They yeah, go to grocery stores. Good. They get, they, you feel me? The, the difference between us and them is all that bullshit they be letting us have. They don't get over there like they used to have Reese cups and, and the different cereals and all that, they bullshit, cut all that, that bullshit. They they stop letting them feed <clears throat> that, that bullshit. Shit to their people. Yeah, we don't want that. So let me ask you. You said they behind. If you could put a year on how far behind they are, you would say they're in two thousand and 
15, maybe. I ain't yep. going to some yep, shit like that. Right. I don't think like, so. They ain't that far behind. Not that far behind. I, I, nah, a little as bit far farther? as like what you mean behind as in what though? Like, like what? Like what, just what's the technology technology in, yeah, what's the common iPhone like, over there? Nah, like everybody got, the same got 15. Shit we they got, got though. That shit. They like, got the same shit everybody? we got, bro. bro they, they, got they not behind in nothing as far as like that. Come on, you don't see all these new rappers coming up. They high. They behind the infrastructure and shit like that. Like they got to They do this shit called a blackout where like the most popping people over there in Africa. A lot of them. Depending on where they at, they city shut down the power. So they for like three to six hours and shit a day. So they gotta make sure everything charged up, okay. everything ready and jetty for when that shit get shut down. They be having extra charger packs and shit like that. Probably hella you solar panels but, all over but that. But in Texas, shit, they still low key kind of do some shit like that. Like in Texas, you ain't even allowed to turn your your thermometer up in your crib pad, uh, uh, below a certain amount or above a certain amount because it's so many people pulling off their power grid. You feel me? Oh, man. We don't got to deal with that shit here, but yeah. shit, they even deal with that shit in some parts of the states. For Sound like just a That's big city crazy. thing. I'm sure uh, yeah. West Coast got that going on. Yeah, too. but it's like that in Africa. A lot of places, they got to cut they, that... That's where they behind to me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Shit, they be source. coming out of there smart as fuck. Motherfucker be coming over here already doctors and all that shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. so while we talking about other states okay. in the country, it's 16 states where your spouse can be arrested <laughs> and locked up for cheating. This is crazy. It's a good thing we it ain't in Ohio. I'm not going to read the whole... Transcript. Oh, no, nah, just, just no I'm about to read. I'm about to read the list of places that you. But is that as if they married though? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah I'm yeah. pretty sure that you gotta be. You gotta be married. Yeah, for sure. So these are the these are the places: Arizona, Florida, Kansas, Illinois, Massachusetts, Oklahoma, Idaho, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Utah. New York, Mississippi, Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. Damn, it sounds like he he said more than sixteen though. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. I didn't count. I, I was just 25. I was just read. <laughs> but them is a yeah. lot of places, and some of these places is closer than it is farther. Mm-hmm. True, but that's wild. Uh, Florida made sense. Michigan. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's two and a half I mean, hour ride. You know, in most marriages, though, if you can prove the other person was cheating, or whatever they call it in court, infidelity or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, they pretty much, you lose right then and there. Yeah, I mean, but that's money you lose and alimony you and lose, all that other you lose shit. Everything. Mm-hmm. But, nigga, I can, I can work towards seeing my kids again. And all that, but yeah. nigga going to jail clink, for clink. it. Crazy. <laughs> going to jail That's for tough. it. That's crazy. Ooh. That's tough. Uh I think it's adultery. Dirty That's work. What, what they call it in court when you're married and you step out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So they they wild for that. I wonder what the extreme is. Like if y'all legally separated. But it would have to in, be even then, like I don't see how you could be like, that bitch cheated on me, lock her away. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but you know how many females would be like, "That's the problem." He cheated on me, lock him away. Up. But just think about how many bitches are alive. What what is it though? Is nah, it? A but felony? I'm sure you gotta have some is solid it, proof. Yeah, is it, it a felony? Be. Is it a misdemeanor? How how long yeah, what do is you the get time locked up? Out? You feel me? I don't mm-hmm. want to go to jail for one. No, for sure. Let alone for getting my dick wet. It's rarely yeah, prosecuted, that's bullshit. prosecuted yeah, that's but <laughs> the penalty can range from a fine of a few dollars to a, a life sentence. Man, what the fuck? What? A life sentence? A life I guess sentence. it depends on how fucked up you are. A life sentence? <laughs> a life sentence? For... That's what it says. That's insanity. That's insanity. A life Man, sentence? That is... Yeah, they giving niggas life for anything. All right, here we go. Oh, it's a, a misdemeanor in 14 states and Puerto Rico. In three states, it's a felony. Oklahoma, Michigan, and Wisconsin. Michigan. Michigan always been some bitches. Big blue bitch. And shout out to the bud, though. Man, hey, what? shout out to the bud and the I bud. Mostly found in conservative states, which I guess we could have assumed that just from states. <laughs> That's wild. Wow. Oh, man. I'm they surprised. Trying, they, I'm surprised trying. Virginia wasn't on the list because you know they whole slogan is Virginia is for lovers. 
And they Commonwealth. Yeah, Commonwealth states suck. I ain't gonna lie to you, Kentucky mm. trash. For sure, they suck. I ain't Fuck gonna lie. I would never live in a Commonwealth state. Mm-mm. Fuck I smoke too much weed for that shit. For sure. Hey, fuck West Virginia. They weed legal in Virginia. Oh. <laughs> fuck West Virginia. They laws is crazy though. Ain't 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 damn near everything a felony. They pretty much can <laughs> set the they can d- determine the extreme of the. Mm-hmm. You know um, one state I never get in tone. trouble in? Florida, bro. They uh, give yeah. your ass a jersey number, yeah. a linebacker or a defensive lineman yeah. number Type shit. for the smallest shit. Yeah. That's why I don't believe half the shit Florida, the niggas rap like, about. Boy, you get in trouble in Florida, you yeah. might never come home, G. In the military, if you cheat on your spouse, they can give you 12 months in the military jail. It's crazy. That's crazy Wicked. work. Mm. And that's anywhere. That could happen yeah. overseas. See, that's what people let in other people right control their lives. Anything. You want to get married and get the whole paperwork done and go through the courts and all that. Like, you better know what the fuck like, you signed. Like, see, bro, like, people <laughs> laugh, but when I say that, I just be like, bro, you sound weird as fuck. I love you so much. I want to get the government involved in this yeah. shit, bitch. And I really mean <laughs> hey, that you bro. can't leave me. Like, but it's a lot of shit you can't even do unless you is married. Agreed, though. Like they, agreed. They try to make it a financial thing where they force you to be married sometimes. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So you can't even... It's some shit that you can't even... Like, you be wanting to go you further, but... You testify against you. You feel yeah. me? You can't without getting it's, married. Yep. That shit wild. Mm. That's something else, man. It's just as wild as child support. Yeah. That's another well, subject. The way, the way my brother put it to me, he was like, nah, this is like... Officially going to go buy a team and make a jersey and make that bitch wear it every day. Mm. Yeah, I, you team call deal now. You know we gonna never to, forget that shit. We gonna have to revisit the the marriage contract conversation. Yeah, I feel like it didn't age well enough for us huh. to revisit that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you get that number? Did you look that number up? You didn't. I did. Damn. I got engulfed in Five life. Years. You'll find it. Just go around the the loop. Um, damn, I was ready for that. We was gonna call the KKK again. Uh, yeah, we was gonna hit them up, see what they number for me, Chuck. Hit hit them up, see what they've been up to. <laughs> Man, I I don't want to know what my computer's been fucking. <laughs> Let me see if I can try to find it. I know um, it's on the episode. Yeah, but the, the, we didn't post the actual letter. We just said what the number was on the episode. You want, like, national or, or something? Nah, we want the numbers. <laughs> we want the, the local want KKK, KKK that we got. Fairborn. Let me see if I can find, if hey, I can find it. It's Sundown Green County. Town. Let me find a topic for us to go into while I look this up. Sundown Town. An inmate crawled like Spider-Man across floor in an attempt to rape a sleeping woman. And this was oh, in the man. jail. This was in the jail. I want y'all what? to I want y- around there. Bro, dude is I want y'all to listen to this shit. Maricopa County. We're stopping the video here, but it shows him. Let me let me run that back for y'all. She was man. sleeping. She wasn't on her job. That's why he crawled around. Maricopa there. County. Hold on. Let me hold on. Hold on. We're gonna get you right. We're gonna get you right now. Maricopa. That's crazy. An inmate crawling undetected over to the female side of the jail in Maricopa County. We're stopping the video here, but it shows him getting behind a woman who's asleep and lowering his pants. Court records say another female inmate yelled for him to get off her. Officers heard the commotion. They ran over and detained him. The incident is being called the first of its kind in the county. And that suspect had been arrested earlier in the week for allegedly assaulting two women near Arizona State University's campus. He'd been released the next day when police say he assaulted three more women in the same place, which is when he was taken back to jail. When questioned about this latest incident, he told investigators he crawled like a spider, drawn to the woman's appearance, and confessed that he intended to rape the victim. He's now facing additional charges. The facility is now looking into the security breach. Ah, man, this stupid dumb motherfucker. Man. Man. They've been on never crawled like a spider. Oh, man. And, and that was his words. I beg your finest pardon. <laughs> Creeped right past the little security uh thing. Hey, that nigga needs to be put away for good. My whole thing is 
You could have tried to crawl away to your freedom, but right, instead well, yeah, you, you, you looked you, over. It was like let me she get got some a, pussy. She got a fat little ass <laughs> on her. Let, <laughs> let, me get pussy. let me get let me get behind that. <laughs> 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 nigga made a pit stop. All I need is three pumps. <laughs> ass nigga, like what? That's that, wild, bro. He can't be mentally stable. Like mm, mm, why would they nah. cut him out? The nah, he was thing. crawling on the floor. Like, Man. No, nobody... no, 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 no. I'm uh. talking about they said that he went to jail for assaulting some females. Like five oh, females. Yeah, yeah. And he went to jail. Then they let him out the very next day and he mm. caught three more bodies. <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah. talking about dude with the Joker face. Tattoos all over him. I ain't see his Joker oh, face. No, but he no, was he in the no, was he in jail crawling to the neck to the female side to try to rape somebody? It's wild. <laughs> Because like Bubba Gump in the in the orange jumpsuit, crying. Put him in the side. Hey, boy. Shrimp sandwiches. <laughs> Cocktail <laughs> shrimp. shrimp. Jumbo shrimp. Butter shrimp. Shrimp salad. Sauteed <laughs> shrimp. Shrimp pasta. He said, I got a jumbo shrimp for you right here, baby. <laughs> so everything there is. He's crawling on the floor. Yeah, I'm crawling on the floor, like. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. That's funny. The way he was just crawling on the floor. Did I ever tell y'all about that day that bat was in my house? No. Flying around, back and forth from me here to. Boy, you should have seen my girl get on the floor and scoot her ass like a dog Six all the way, bruh, bruh, <laughs> bruh. I'm talking about scooting her ass all the way into the office, bruh. <laughs> we were sitting here chilling, and my like, flew past like that. I'm like, you ain't see that? And she was like, no. Motherfucker flew past again, like, I'm like, bro, it's a fucking bat in here. She like, quit playing. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I slid on the ground. Oh, <laughs> like, oh, shit. That motherfucker came back one more time, bro. She's got the screaming, duck down on the floor like this, bro, and scoot. I'm got like, little old niggas. Bruh, I was in this motherfucker <laughs> week. I was in my tears. Bruh, that's yeah. me. but that's oh. what it looked like. That's what it reminded me of how dude just scooted his ass to the female side. <laughs> but homegirl stay asleep the whole time too like what the hell i'm pretty sure she was what would stop the freak out from happening nah they said I another said, person yeah, had to yell hey, get your ass or maybe she her. wouldn't sleep maybe she was with the shit so i'm about to go to jail yeah, facts. Boy, you don't on, know man. what you about fuck it hey you're right because he going around just taking if he it. if he crawling on prison jail, jail floors just to get <laughs> You better not take that gummy worm on rack. What the <laughs> hell? Hey, y'all see that uh, show on Netflix called Love on the Run? Nah. No. Man, all right. So this chick, she uh, she like a correctional officer in the prison or whatever. Oh, mm-hmm. And uh, this dude ended up going to jail for murder or whatever. And she secretly built a relationship with dude, ended up sneaking dude out to prison and everything, bro. Uh, had a standoff with the police, all kind of shit, bro. Y'all got to check that out, bro. Look, oh, this, is a, real, this, this is, a real is a real story, story bro. I got a Be real done. story that's yeah. like that. <clears throat> all right, so listen. My GM at Popeyes, her name is Jenny. Damn, free mm. She was a CO at Warren County. Bro, she met a nigga doing life. Mm-hmm. Done, goddamn it. Got sweet on him. Mm. Man, this nigga had her smuggling cell phones, heroin, crack, weed, mm. pills. You name it. Getting money. Then he gets caught. Getting mm. money. Hey, Cause you know that shit <laughs> oh, going yeah. there like yeah. oh, no, the for smallest sure. amount. So yeah, it was all good. Yeah, the price going up. Then the nigga got stung. Damn. Told on her ass. Mm. 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 He snitched on her. Doing Told like... on her ass. Damn. So you know they gunning. they gunning for her heavy, but you worked for us and you making us look bad, man. Damn. She you thought fucked, she thought because she had no charges or nothing before, no prior, like not even a speed ticket. She like, I think I thought she was gonna get, get some slap probation, on slap on the wrist. No, boom, you doing five years, three of them mandatory. Bro, you already doing life. Why would you tell on anybody about anything? What other? Yeah, what else can you? Yeah, get in like how you? For? Yeah, that's crazy. How you? How you doing? And she life was doing him a favor. Hey, the biggest. Damn. So, what does Jenny look like? I'm curious. Ah, uh, a prisoner right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like a goddamn Orange snitch. Jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> like a fool, but uh, Jenny's a white woman, by okay. the way. And, uh, give me body, body oh, build. She, she give has me. a very nice body, but okay. it's like when you see the face, it's like, oh shit. Maybe I do see why you thought the man doing life in jail was, cause yeah. So she ugly with a 
without. But you can still an ugly bitch with a nice body can still bag a decent person on the outside. Yeah. Bro, I might have had game or shine. You might know. be a five in the face, but the ass bump you up to like a seven. You want to be her pimp? Seven point five. She looking for pimp? No. Pals. <laughs> <laughs> No, nope. first and foremost, talk bitch, you, you don't have enough common sense for me. I'm, I'm gonna talk to you about Jenny off camera. <laughs> that. <laughs> and that's that. Don't leave me that. hanging, baby. Don't leave me hanging. He said three years. Say, hey, hey, I'm gonna talk to you about Jenny in a minute. Nigga said that's light work. Say that. I got both phone numbers. For oh, Jenny? Okay. Nah, he <laughs> okay. My boy he Chuck. Work. <laughs> Chuck, give me in the A, hey, but this is the thing. Nah, fuck that. Nah, Chuck stop. already had them numbers. Nah, stop, stop, <laughs> Chuck. We need you to talk to him. He been talking you got to him. To- <laughs> Chuck already had he went numbers. to his contact. He had him in his contact. He just stalled out for a minute. K-K-K-1. He just stalled out for a minute. So it wouldn't look too obvious. Hey, y'all chill, man. Hey, man. Our guests might not know that we playing. So listen. Man. These are the numbers you guys called before. Okay. Oh, you looked up on the West night. My boy, he went back to the... I have phone numbers from you guys if you want to get technical. Yeah, we get... Yeah. 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 Facts. We had the facts. fire, though. Here facts. Here look, Thank you had to get an explanation. Let me tell you. But wait, let me explain. Hey. I went and just chopping it up with nah. him. But look, last time I feel like I oversold I, the voice. Yeah, yeah, he was really, really wasn't it. You did, you that did wasn't sound his like gimmick. A cartoon trucker. I yeah, said, that, all right, bro. <laughs> that, 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 uh, that gimmick wasn't <laughs> a good one. In my um, defense, that's back before we, we was like allowed to smoke on camera. It was like a, a fucking. <laughs> hey, we wow. was, doing, we was <laughs> doing five, six at a oh, time. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you know, Joe. Uh, don't call me that. Don't don't ever disrespect Piezilla like that. <laughs> God damn it! Don't do that. All right, so sure, you don't want to you don't want to talk to him. I mean, I'll talk to him. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna have to start sixty seven. What's <laughs> you about to call him right now? Yes, boy. Oh my God. Yeah, let's see what they up to. Yeah. See if they still recruiting. What's the number? Nine three seven. Mm-hmm. Four zero eight. Nine seven three two. Come on, Chuck. All right, we need that sauce, Chuck. We know you've been hanging with a lot of, lot of flavor in your ear lately. Hello. 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 Um, I got this phone number off a flyer. Off a of what? Off of a flyer, a recruitment flyer. Well, I have no idea what you're talking about, buddy. Are you sure? Yeah. Nothing about the KKK? Nope. Don't know anything about it. All right. All right, what's the other number? They right, motherfucking. Ah, we gotta give Chuck a script. He sounded like a dope man, like the dope <laughs> boy. The nigga uh, called for. Hey, you got a half a brick? Uh, nope. <laughs> Don't know nothing. About <laughs> Don't know nothing about it, buddy. Sure. All right, go ahead. So, we need we need for you to sound like you're adamant about joining the KKK once you've seen this flyer. He need a script. I I, I say. We we come up with a script and come back again. We gotta say make it sound more believable, man. He, he yeah, don't sound like put, you know what I'm saying. He don't we check, can't just put sound. Chuck on the fly that, like that. That, that, that was second number. I'm a, I'm gonna not do the southern. Bro, right no. I'm gonna go like job you interview. Just do him under the bus. Job like. interview. <laughs> All right, what's the second we number? Gotta, Chuck? We gotta know what to say. Six zero six seven six five five zero four six. Hold on, wait. Six zero six seven six five. Zero five four six. Unless one of I get on y'all Clayton Bigsby shit one time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nigga in here. Where the nigga? <laughs> Call has been forwarded Damn. to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. I don't uh, think they accept was, black calls. That was a D and D. They shut down the clan, y'all. One more time for them. Good for them. Your oh, call shit. has been forwarded to voicemail. They're the on per- to us. Hey, that nigga said nope. Right. nope. <laughs> yeah. Don't know nothing about it. Nope. That's funny as shit. All right, let me see. Russell Simmons stunned after being served lawsuit in Bali. Don't <laughs> For years, rumors have swirled about Russell Simmons moving to Bali to avoid legal trouble. But his situation is far from funny. 
Recently, Simmons was served with lawsuit while in Bali, and the circumstances were anything but expected. According to All Hip Hop, process server Daniel John traveled to the Goddess Bali Health and Wellness Resort on March 5th, navigating security and searching for Simmons for about an hour. Once he found the music mogul, AOP handed him a defamation lawsuit filed by former music former music executive Drew Dixon. The lawsuit is tied to Simmons' alleged failure to address Dixon's sexual assault claims. Whoa. I recognized him right away as Russell Simmons said, I mean, as AOP said, well known in Bali and of course in the U.S. Simmons, who was in a meeting at the time, was reportedly stunned to be found and served legal per- legal papers while in Indonesia. Damn. He just... He thought it was sweet. He just living his life like it's golden, ain't he? Oh, hey, he thought oh I can go to the gym and... Man, yeah. what? I'm going to just go... Start Feds over. can't get Pop. me here, gang. You gonna get you a pull-up bar and a treadmill at the Stop house, boy, and, and sit your ass down, boy. Boy, nah, he you already. On I the can run. only imagine how fucking goofy he looked, cause I look goofy as fuck too over there, thinking shit sweeter than a lollipop, nigga. Just come shove some shit in your face, bitch ass, nigga. You old. I wonder. Down. I wonder if he he ain't, he, might, he probably ain't have on no disguise or nothing, man. Disguise? Just, you, know, you can't disguise that bald ass he head. Said <laughs> You but thought he goes. first and yeah, foremost, he didn't feel he like had one of them dread wigs. Like a, <laughs> still got a whole dread wig. The whole though. reason he <laughs> over there is because it's not supposed to be no extradition laws. You feel me? But mm-hmm. they didn't try to come and take him. They hey. just came and served him. Man. He the only nigga in Indonesia right now still wearing fat farms. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee it. <laughs> Got him a bad little Indonesian man, with, with the baby fat. And she, uh, the baby she, fat on, just like Kamora. I'm crying. That's all right, so they can come serve him, but they can't take him. Exactly. Right. That's still like I, we can get was, money as, from as him. if he didn't already know he was in trouble. Right. <laughs> like what, the, you know, he probably all right. brought that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of what the people told dude. Like, hey, we can't send this nigga to prison no more because he's safe now. But uh, we can get some money out of this if we we just gotta send somebody over there and they just gotta give him these papers. But man, I mean, they served him to come to American court. No, just <laughs> I'm not coming. <laughs> yeah, yep. Y'all that come. Oh, y'all come get me. Oh, that's right. You, you can't. Can. <laughs> <laughs> In a minute, boy. Fuck you, talking about man. Gotta say, gotta say, gotta say. I would have told the nigga that was serving me to sit down and have something to eat, <laughs> boy. They just brought you over here for nothing, boy. Sit down. Enjoy man. your vacation. Yeah, that's man. Just look at this ass. <laughs> I ain't say, I'm shit. a Mubakusa. <laughs> Nigga said, I got a yoga class at six, man. You welcome to come along. (laughs) Damn, that's crazy. All right, so for some reason, they keep coming for the king of uh, popping R&B, man. They they trying to crucify my boy again. They trying to say that Chris Rihanna ain't the only victim. They tried to say Chris Brown was giving the moot mops and boot bops to Not the boot bops. everybody. <laughs> Damn. Listen. For the late, for the young ladies, I mean, what's up, man? You got a girl or what? Nah, nah. I'm keeping my options open, so y'all be checking for me. You know what I'm saying? You look so demonic. <laughs> Chris Brown is the man. Get used to that right there. Chris Brown's an amazing and talented musician, but let's call a thing a thing. He's a abuser of women consistently, unapologetically. Chris pull a gun on that girl. When is your hearing for your uh, restraining order? There's a long list of various different women. Being pretty upset. Are you sure you don't really fall victim's advocate have them come talk to you? Who've accused Chris Brown of assaulting them. Senator Chris Brown has been detained in an alleged case of rape. He has an audience full of assault deniers. I have not spoken about this matter publicly, but that's the only way that he can be stopped. You sound like a female Chris Brown to be fucking with, huh? Now, you know when they put the that's black, 
you be in the book, yeah, you you see the outline of your face, and oh, they okay. change, they alter the voice. The voice. Yeah, I'm about to say, Boy, that ain't gonna lie. Different, right? That now. nose, you know, <laughs> Carrie Hilson got a kind of a big <laughs> nose. I, I'm like, boy, oh, kind of look like Carrie back there. <laughs> but yeah, they saying that he got multiple victims. Man, I right. Chris Brown, Mexico. Yeah, bro, uh, that's what it sounds like. At least all he doing is beating ass. You feel? Me? <laughs> I hate to say it, but I watched this nigga get coked up and choke two bitches outside of like a coffee little spot or something. Like he he claimed he was just playing. Like that's how he was playing around. But like he had that face like when Homer really be choking Bart. You heard what Adrian <laughs> Broner said. He said he was in a club with Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Knocked a whole half gallon down a Patron like it was nothing. Damn. He had, he said, uh, they was like going, like, see who could drink the most and shit. And Adrian Broner said he went to jail that night, everything. He was so fucked up. He don't remember nothing, but Chris Brown was moving like that shit was nothing. Yeah, big cocaine vibes. Right yeah, there. I was about to drink, say how you know he was on like cocaine, that. but we know my boy loved cocaine. Whoa, we got the, the, charm. the cocaine chain and the, the razor with the blood. Don't on forget, it? don't forget Ooh, the photo shoot <laughs> where he had all the cocaine all hey. over his. Right, <laughs> Do y'all know who Jocelyn Hernandez is, bro? I know y'all know who she yes. is, mm-hmm. bro. Yeah. It they on this reality shit on Zeus. I was watching this shit with my with my girl one night, bro, and the bitch tried to put her on blast. Like, bitch, you be doing cocaine. Jocelyn was like, who don't? Everybody know I love cocaine. Who don't know I like cocaine? Everybody, you got some cocaine? You got some cocaine? I'm like, bro, this bitch is crazy, crazy. bro. Yeah, who don't know Chris Breezy don't like the cocaine? Like, bro, said, like, <laughs> you got people who just don't give a fuck. They filter it's like, man, tell them motherfuckers you like cocaine. Who the fuck don't like cocaine? Everybody in here fuck around like, no, no, Jocelyn. <laughs> we don't all like cocaine. That is not common. She said, I like cocaine. Gunplay like cocaine. Michael Jordan son like cocaine. She ain't really uh, say that. No, I'm, yeah, I'm he did get busted. Like, on the- I was believable than a motherfucker. Hey, yeah, that is. Is that bone <laughs> powder? <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, Damn, man. Chris. It, man. They and did. that's a trailer for an actual documentary. Yeah, surviving yeah. Chris Breezy. And that's mm. how, hey. Dang. Know how yeah. that, that's how it got bad for Kells, man. Yeah, yeah. Start it's off with a documentary. Of mm-hmm. All he got to do is say he was crump dancing. They got in the way for real. <laughs> 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 Caught a stray crump. Uh-uh, <laughs> hey, hey, if that don't hurt. work, who they going to have to do his Lifetime movies? Because you know that's the only Damn. way he getting a... <laughs> who will be Chris Brown, man? <laughs> Who would play Chris Brown? I'm trying to think. Man, that's tough. I always the, thought. The only nigga that got the same shape head as Chris Brown is De- De- uh, Diana Ross. Yo, I was about to say Jelly B. Yeah. What's his name? Evan Ross. Evan Ross. Jelly yep. B. <laughs> He'd probably be the, that's the first person that come to mind. Yep. I ain't gonna lie. I was gonna say, I don't know what dude even looked like right now, but I always thought uh, Drew from Everybody Hates Chris. Okay. Hey, no, oh, that's, that's young. That's, young. that's perfect. That's, the young yeah. that's perfect, that's, that's Chris, Brown. Chris hey, Brown. You, you did one better than <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, for sure. You know, Aiden Ross got the <laughs> the, the shit. His mama <laughs> always surprised to see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "I was, I was gonna give it to you, man." Oh man, damn, Chris. Mm-hmm. All right, this is a list of rappers that fell off. Ooh-wee. And they say it would never be relevant again. Yago's question for the pod is, out of all these rappers, who has a chance of making a comeback? The best chance. Now, I don't know a lot of these niggas' names. Do they names come with it? Attached hey. to it? Because if not, who's the nigga under Fetty Wap? Let me see. Uh, that's YBN Namir. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's then good. I know everybody now then. Okay, so we got Lil Pump. We got Fetty Wap. We got Designer. Who is this Panda. nigga? That's a uh, ski mask. Ski mask, the slump guy. Yeah. We got Lil Zan, uh, Lil, Lil Zan. Zan, YBN Namir, six nine. He shouldn't even be on the list because he never fell off. Hey, he went what? Um, uh, oh, we'll get to it. Um, Blueface one hundred. Uh, what's this Blueface nigga? Baby Dexter. Yeah, Young Dex. <laughs> You're gonna have to sound off the rest of these niggas. These niggas was uh, after, this was the little yeah, pump era. So that's era. um, that's Smoke Perp. Okay. And then that's uh Lil Skies. And then thanks, ugly guy. Okay. Sure, so sure, sure. <laughs> out of all these artists, who do you think has a chance of coming back into the game? 
Blue face, baby. And Fetty Wap. Yeah. I'm about to say, I, I ain't he doing a long fed. time? Yeah, Fetty Wap just straight up, he, he just straight up quit rapping. <clears> but nah, no, Wap in jail. He locked up. He in jail. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, he caught a he big was trapping. case. Yeah, he was really yeah, moving. He was, yeah. yeah. Really Still. had a trap queen now that yeah, real. Baby. Fetty Wap and Blue face. So I say six nine didn't ever fall off because he just switched genres on. Yeah, he went Latin and and was the biggest motherfucker in there. the Latin community. Went and stole the biggest Latin artist, stole his bitch too while he was yeah. over there. Mm. Yeah. Crazy. yeah. Hey, so. what the fuck do he be doing to put himself in position to win like this, sure. bro? Like, cause at this point, if you did hate six nine, like. How can you continue to hate? Because that culture like, don't give a fuck about him snitching on some niggas from New but York City. But let's not even fuck all that. The nigga is not talented. What? Uh, I ain't gonna say that. Uh, yeah, I'm about to say, bro. I ain't gonna say that. Quite, he's quite the entertainer. Was, I mean, oh, the oh, best on, rapper. Like, the facts. best rapper don't have to be the biggest. He wasn't a good rapper, but the individual he but made you tune in and envision. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He, he made you tune in the visuals, to... and he came up with them real jingles sometimes. And he had real star if he, appeal. Like, if he dude. if he wasn't still hated in America, I think he would have did good on wrestling, because that nigga knows how to talk <laughs> shit, bro. If he like, wasn't so little, when he gets on the microphone, <laughs> you know they bitch. can sell that though. He could have ran a program bitch, with like LWO or there something. You go, came type in there shit. with some little niggas. He'd have been that third <laughs> Dudley boy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, Crash Holly, as hell. Put that nigga through tables. Hey, ain't like Crash Holly. Got it worse than any wrestler yeah. I have ever <laughs> seen. And he was, was like he him. was the they new age mankind. He was the lightweight mankind. Save his ass all the time. But did, have you ever heard any of his Latin music? I heard a few songs. I heard his biggest song. Do you speak fluent about Spanish? No. So how but, can you say but the he translation? Wasn't... It never sounds good in from that language to American though. Don't so no English. songs like that That's ever sound saying. good yeah, in translation. Like if you ever translate Daddy Yankee, you will absolutely be bewildered why he has a hit record in america <laughs> but like it's the vibe that's what i learned to go off of like bro the what that song means to us i gotta hear the emotion in that shit because bro when you translate it to my language it's backwards and it sounds crazy yeah but so look not to mention six nine has already been signed sealed and delivered as far as money dude is already rich so he can put as much money into promotion and antics as he want to to get people's attention. You know, this is an attention game now. Yeah. As long as you like got that. the motherfuckers' attention, then you pretty much I win. I miss it being talent yeah. based. You too. Yeah. Me too. I miss the CD era. Yeah. When a nigga could really make some money independent. Yeah. Man, what? You didn't <laughs> have stream. <clears throat> that part. Um. But yeah, I would say, Blueface, dude. Absolutely. As long as he got Krishan Rock and the Zeus Network ready to spend some money with him, dude, gonna be a okay. Mm -hmm. But that don't got nothing to do with music. Career. I mean, but you can always it use that to capitalize off of music. Not necessarily. He got his because, name off of making music, so it's not that not he don't got a lane for he it. He don't even gotta do music because he that shit weak. Fuck that. That shit is weak. <laughs> out Nigga of ain't all had the other rappers song since. Buzz down out of any, out of in general. No, I'm out saying of, no. Out of, out out of, rappers on that out of coming back like from falling off. Was low key, like some of his bars wasn't was low key fire too, bro. Yeah, like a nice little bop, bro. Like, Once he learned how to ride the he, beat, like, he like some player shit for real. Yeah, bro. ain't nobody want to hear that shit though, bro. But that shit did burn up quick though. Don't nobody want to hear that shit still to this day. We want to tune in. We want to see him beat up like Krishan's daddy. We want to see him uh, get punched by Krishan and and cuss her out and but I'm <laughs> Don't I'm nobody want to hear that music he shit. I feel face. like it's <laughs> hard for West Coast to really be mainstream anyway, cause like cause that shit mid. Nipsey shit was fire. Not nah, and but you know they never made that's it why mainstream. They had to get him out of here because he was fire. he was trying to bring niggas together. So unfortunate. That but. shit wasn't fire. I'm sorry. I'm oh you mm, mm, mm. Who? Nip. Nip. Yeah, oh, that man. shit wasn't fire. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I don't agree with that. Oh, uh -huh. hey, you agree that with that? I I don't, don't agree with that. That it wasn't fire. Ain't no. It, it, it was hitting to me, dog. You agree that it was fire or wasn't fire? We, I'm not going to say that it wasn't fire. We fucking that with that shit was fire. fire. We fucking with Nip G. But nah, but see, maybe you was and maybe you was, but a lot of niggas okay. wasn't fucking with that shit until, until he after died. he died. Yeah, that shit was cause that shit wasn't bumping. 
Fuck that. Them but niggas started that fucking with him. making all them, they was making all them diss songs. But nah, you hell nah. That, that, see, he don't game, even know man. who we talking I, about still. Said, and he's dead. That's what I'm saying. That shit wasn't it. Oh, shit. That shit wasn't it. No. See. Damn, bro, y'all wouldn't fuck. But with listen, that? because no. because you he didn't wasn't. know about him before you Damn. died. After Ooh, you, listened. I knew about no, him. That I'm shit talk- wasn't it. I'm talking about the average person that you're speaking about. Right. Even if they didn't listen to him before he died, they didn't. Don't nobody want to listen to some music that they can't tolerate. So even though they didn't get hip to him till after he died, once they got hip to him, who's right. to say that they didn't love the music? Hey. If he didn't do music, I thought he had a career acting because the little few movies he was in, he wasn't Nigga bad. Double up. Never let a hard time know. crumble up. That boy was fire, man. Yeah. What? You crazy. Yeah, in a minute. <laughs> you crazy. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. I'm going to have to agree to disagree with you, Yeah, No, that's why I said crazy. back. I don't agree with none of you niggas. That shit was Nick. Oh, that I'm shit sorry. was fire. Everybody has an opinion. <laughs> Everybody has an asshole. That's crazy. Let me see. Did you ever listen to any Nipsey Hussle music just by any chance, yeah. Chuck? If I did, I didn't know. It was Nip. Yeah, it was just something I heard. All my life. Grind all my life. I'm sure I heard it a lot. <laughs> 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 no, that song that wasn't it for real. Yeah, but that, that was probably I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that, that's what the machine was, picked I fucked up with that. with. I, I was did. about to I say I fucked with that. He ain't like it because that's on 2K played a yeah, couple years ago. Every time you cut that shit on. Yeah, I wasn't feeling that, but a couple albums before that, he, he man, bro, had, shit for real. He had some shit back in high school that was that wasn't too bad, but a little early mixtape nip. Like, yeah. I mean, do you cool. fuck with Snoop though, Yago? Because you made it seem like our West Coast music was. Trash. He did, did. Whoa, I ain't gonna say that. Either. YG trash. What? No. Man, Why, fuck it. Yeah, YG trash. Hey, yeah, I was about YG to say. trash. Go ahead. Keep me. going. I ain't stopped you yet. Oh, Draco Hunter. the Ruler was fucking trash. I ain't fuck with dude neither. Oh. Go ahead. See, but you can't put a whole I coast on YG, these bro. artists that you yeah. naming, though, bro. You can't say the whole West Coast E-40. is trash. <clears throat> You think I like wait, that noise? No way! I like that noise wait. for that. You think, I like oh, that noise for that. You think E Forty was trash, bro? All them syllables was extra as fuck. You thought Schoolboy? You thought Schoolboy Q ain't had bars? Mm, me, the game. Me, the game that's uh, the game is just oh, fifty. Oh, the game is just a, a, a West oh, Coast fifty God. cent. A yeah, West Coast I, fifty cent pen. Damn. Hey. Fifty Cent wrote the game. Fifty Cent made the game. The game got some little you decent like boards. Have you ever 50. heard Jesus Whoa. Peace, the album? Of course, I've heard all that shit, bro. That shit too is, short. It's okay. I know you. Hold on, wait. I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe you listen to all game <laughs> shit after Fifty Why Cent, bro. Do you because to... you don't even like to go and listen to music from people that you don't like when it's supposed to be a. Topic. I like the game though. You just called him trash. Cause he is. Oh, but I still like him. Larry huh? June. Okay, so Larry I'm June. done. Game. <laughs> <minute. He laughs> that didn't hey, even make sense. He to said. Me. He... That did man. He trashed, but you still Facts. liked him. Yeah, me cool. I like his personality as a person. I like the game. We're talking about the music, though. Weak. That's what I'm saying. Hey, I refuse weak. to believe if you think he's weak that you listen to all the projects after to be. be able I give to... niggas spins, bro. I give certain Fuck niggas with spins, Kennedy. bro. Ain't never heard of him. Okay. I can't yeah, speak from that. Yeah, probably don't know Larry June. Then yeah. I'm, I'm hip to Larry oh, June. Okay. I just Fuck never really. It? I never really. Okay. It's too calm. To me, but you got know, you. I got you. You know, it's it's everybody has See, an that opinion. Type of, that type of music made me want to rap back when I was I, doing I, that shit. Everybody, a has rapper, opinion. I think everybody be sleep on. Be my boy Sauce Walker, bro. I fuck with yeah, Sauce. Sauce I love Sauce. He is good, bro. Shine, but like, he got said. some antics that'll make you be like, <laughs> you know his, that. You know why his daddy was a WWE wrestler. No, I'm saying when he jumped that off the sense. motherfucking the pink Tesla he got show me shit. That shit, mm-hmm. that little yeah, he viral different. clip, funny as fuck, bro. Nah, for dude sure. Dude knows so how to put on yeah, for the yeah. camera. Yeah. He will be a great wrestler. Yeah, he would. Dude will be a great wrestler. All right, so we got a couple more topics. We ain't gonna get through all of them. So. Boosie's daughter Ivy expresses her frustrations with him after constantly speaking on her sexuality. You know, Boosie is really against the gay community and something that I've always questioned is how can you have that strong stance on the community like that and you have a daughter that's he wrote openly a song about gay. It though. Hold on, don't listen. Cut that boy dick off, man. He don't fuck with his daughter. <laughs> that's how you, you kind of answered your own question. Dad, you was a bad father because you not. 
you gonna make sure your kids straight. You always gonna do that. But emotionally, mentally, you suck. You suck, bruh. And I know you suck with that because you rather go to the internet and have a conversation with the internet about your kids before you come to us and have that conversation. I said you was a bad f I'm not finna get on here and disrespect my pops. I'm not finna get on here and go against the green and go against my daddy. Nobody finna make me do that. But it's like, you making me do that. They not even making me do that. You making me do that. You steady speaking on me. You steady. Like, I will respect if you, if you just say, just one time, just say, my daughter know how I feel about that. Can we move on to the next question? I'm not finna. So if the world really knew all the things and the hurtful things you told me before and I forgave you, you wouldn't even understand. And no matter how you feel, at the end of the day, blood. I am your daughter. So if the world really knew all the things and the hurtful things you told me. Damn. Yeah, man. <clears throat> yeah, I seen that uh, right when she had dropped that video. Shit. I don't know, because it be seeming like he cool with his kids. And then, yeah, I just feel like, you know, boozy ass always on Instagram. Pot that pussy for a thousand dollars type shit. You feel me? Like. He done, he done fell off down the rabbit hole of doing everything for the gram type shit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, everything for him got to be on the internet. He get pulled over. He on the internet. He riding down the street getting some some woods. He on the internet. You feel me? That's he might as well do a, a lot reality. Of his yeah, and I know he want to do a reality show. You feel me? But shit. If you, that's, that's that's where they get they bad from. If you ask yeah. me, the reality show was already in the works. You know, him and Ti had a reality show that they was doing, uh -huh. where they was supposed to be. Um, yeah, that shit fell apart because that because of Boosie running his fucking mouth. Yep. Mm -hmm. Saying Ti was a rat. Mm -hmm. yep. It's a clip. Yep. Me, him, and Mac was just talking about this earlier. It's a clip going out where Ti and Boosie pulled up to their son's video shoot, mm -hmm. and he was sitting there questioning them about um them having guns and their videos and all that, the way they, and I told Mac, cause Mac thought that that was a real thing. And I'm like, boy, that's for the cameras. They probably shooting that reality show right now. Cause if me and Yago pulled up on Saya and King and they had a music video with some guns, we're not going to be that calm and understanding. No. Mm -hmm. Nigga, give me that fucking gun. Nigga, you look stupid as fuck out here. What the fuck y'all think is smacking niggas upside their head, all that type of shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So they friends and all that. But yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Especially if you like a uh, grow up with friend, I'm putting my hands on you too, nigga. Yeah. You feel me? So what are your takeaways about what she's saying about Boosie and how he respond to her sexuality and her choices in life? Shit. She basically saying he need to get off the internet with that shit. Like come mm -hmm. holler at her. They just need mm -hmm. to talk. They, mm -hmm. they I putting that shit for everybody else's business. What do you think a conversation will will solve though like what do you think it would fix a conversation ain't gonna make him feel any different about it'll be daughter. education i think for both of them though but i think a conversation uh they both get a better understanding of each other rather than going live about each other well this is the first time i ever seen her go live and i done heard boosie speak on sexuality and his daughter multiple times i done seen her talking about him before yeah, I ain't never seen. I know her little yeah. show where she be seen like, her talking, you feel I don't me? Seen her talking shit about him before. Having a rap talent and shit. That daughter, because it's another daughter that she really be popping it, popping yeah. it. That ain't her. Hey, this is what I want to say, bro. I got two things that I take away from this. For one, he failed her as a father. When your child comes to you and tells you that they know they can't come to you and speak to you from an emotional standpoint. And you are never gonna understand their emotions. Sound like you, Vince McMahon. Yeah, daddy. you won't even come to they uh, like you know what I mean. Like mm -hmm. at some point, you gotta whatever. The, you ain't even trying to be empathetic. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I don't care what I got going on. Like, hear me out. Mm -hmm. You you airing out our dirty laundry, or you airing out a, a sensitive subject that affects me personally mm -hmm. for financial gains. Mm -hmm. And that's got to be how she see it because why else can't you just say like what she said? I mean, you know, I got gay children, man. We just going to go on to the next You ain't question. even got to say yeah. that. You ain't even, yeah. You ain't even got to say that. You know how I feel about that, my next question. 
Yeah, man. And you still gonna get paid for that interview. Get bro. on his webby shit. Stop. Ask me about my gay daughter hey, again, <laughs> and I'm on your ass, man. <laughs> Fuck that, man. Yeah, that's you know what I mean. That's you can get on that type of time. shit. So, hey, man, listen, bro. Bo- Boosie got Boosie. I ain't gonna say he got to change his mind because I don't think that's ever gonna happen. They just but like, need to have Mike Tyson interview him about that shit again. <laughs> oh hey. my lord, <laughs> say he was sitting on <laughs> pins and needles. Sure. Yeah. Um, I think. Boosie need to go speak to a professional for sure because he has a lack of understanding. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like he's ignorant to that type of shit. Yeah. Like however he was brought up, however you feel. I said, some people is, is like Trump. Mm-hmm. He, he like Trump, bro. He, he ain't got no filter. You, you gotta let some, some people that just how they is, bro. Shit, little Tyler's gonna be the first one to tell you your breast ain't nigga. <laughs> I got a cousin. Me, or, you ugly. Yeah, like why you fat as fuck? You feel me? Like Tyler don't give no fuck. It it's some people out here that just never grew that filter part on their brain, bro. He wanted them. He don't get no fuck, bro. <laughs> I think shit. She she should have known that. If you had uh, a child that was gay, how would how do you feel like you would be able to handle that? Do you feel like that's something you can come to terms with? I mean, shit, you ain't got no choice but to accept it at the end of the day. I mean, day, that's so what we say. Person. You can say that, but a lot of people don't accept it, though. Hey, that's why I said it. Different strokes for different folks. Like, you feel me? Boosie probably was salty about that shit. I mean, and rightfully so. Anybody mm-hmm. would probably be salty about that shit in the, on the impact. So, And then you got some people who... Want their kids to be gay too? You feel me? It, it's some kids who, Weird. who parents dress them up like girls or make their da- little daughters do a bunch of boy activities and shit like that. It's like they they uh, grooming programming them to them. be mm-hmm. they grooming them to be like that. You feel me? So I mean, I don't know, bro. So hey. as a parent with a son and a daughter, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if y'all agree, but I'm going to be jaded. Like, if my daughters are gay, I could kind of get over that. Like, I don't know why, but that's going to be, like, <laughs> my son, on the other hand. Like, I'm going to accept him. He's still my blood. I'm going to love him. But, God damn, I'm going to be shook. Like, I mean, for the sake what, of your bloodline and what about to have your bloodline continue, you feel me, with grandchildren and, and kids after that, you would want your your children to be straight. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And then my but question would be, like, what about me? Who I should have been your biggest role model, like made you want to be like that. Sometimes I don't, ex- don't like you feel me. I know, and then that's what I'm saying. Like that's where it, it wasn't. It's not you at all. It was just always in him. I ain't gonna lie. I well, I, I for a second I had thought like, shit. I don't even know why she went on the internet and, and made that that video on live because it really just blew it into a way bigger thing. Then what people really wasn't focused on that. Like he been saying a little shit about his daughter, so ain't nobody really like locked in and start making it a a thing or or I, I feel like that's the only way that she was gonna be able to get her, her daddy's attention, bro. Yeah, yeah, I was just about to say that was a cry yeah. out for help. As you can uh-huh. hear, like you he, yeah. she was like, Man, I bet you up. when she first started showing signs, I bet you he was completely dismissing that shit. Like, mm-hmm. you know how you if you, uh, you, you motherfucker feel like if they just hope something ain't real, mm-hmm. then it yeah. don't be real. Yeah. That's some type of shit I feel like he was on. Did you hear the way she said, I'm your like the way she, yeah. she sounded like she wanted to break daughter, down bro. and start she crying it for right real. then she, and she, there. She, her eyes was watering and all that. Mm-hmm. She was finna cry for yeah, real bro. in her video. You could tell that, that she can't get through to her daddy like she would like to. Um, I think that's just crazy. Mm-hmm. Crazy work. He probably ain't just embarrassed and all that shit. He be talking, you know, uh, about that, Dwayne Wade's son and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? He kind of... Kind of eating his words and shit right about now, maybe, but I don't know. You know, know. D Wade over there laughing about that. You want to talk about my son? Uh, yeah. Worry about your daughter, fuck boy. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> shit. So, look, I'm going to do one more topic. I really want to talk about this Chinese zoo. Did y'all see that? I really yeah, want to talk about that, wow, bro. but it's more important <laughs> matters on hand that we should be talking about. So, Please. the port, uh, I don't know if y'all know or not, but the port dot workers, the people like, you know, how all the products and vehicles and vehicle parts and everything, you know, it's three 
main ways of transportation. Shit get here on the plane, shit get uh, driven on the truck, mm-hmm. or shit come across them waters. Mm-hmm. The port dock workers that work on the waters where the stuff come in at, they mm-hmm. um, they went on a, um, strike. a strike. They about to. No, mm-hmm. it already started. It started on the first. This is the second day of the strike. Mm-hmm. And they say for every day that these port workers are on strike, it cost America a billion dollars. They say that this shit is about to set motherfuckers That's back. That's our gas? How we get our gas? And shit Every, like everything, that, you know I mean? bro. Like, so I'm about yeah, to play this. Fuck some shit up. I'm about to play this video for y'all. Oh, Lord. It's about to be there. They, they about to start. Uh, this morning, a strike is looming at ports along the east and Gulf mm. Coast that could cost the American economy billions of dollars per day and potentially lead to shortages for consumers. A strike of this magnitude um, would cripple the U.S. economy. Dock workers represented by the International Longshoremen's <clears throat> Association are threatening to go on strike Tuesday. The strike would affect 45,000 workers and close to 36 ports from Texas to Maine. Analysts warn a walkout lasting more than a week could lead to major supply chain disruptions. Anything imported could be delayed, including fresh produce, toys, alcohol, and vehicles and parts. Some some experts warning if you need your car repaired get to the dealership now if there's a prolonged strike um, you could see shortages with fresh fruits and vegetables obviously the automotive um, parts sector will be impacted the port workers union is demanding higher wages and a ban on automated cranes gates and trucks the u.s maritime allowance representing the ports claims the union isn't bargaining in good faith The Maritime Alliance has filed an unfair labor practice charge with the National Labor Relations Board in hopes of getting the union back to the bargaining table before Tuesday's contract deadline. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York. Fuck a box truck. I need one of those. Uh, Fuck shit. <laughs> 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 fucking strike. We out here. We gonna ship it and unload this hey, shit. Boy, listen. All them niggas that be running around with them foreign cars better hope your shit don't break, boy. Mm, mm, you mm, done. Mm, mm. Not yes, any car mm. at this point. Yeah. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, you know, a big major part of the, the cars being stolen, they get shipped off in them ports, bro. They be over there sending that shit to Africa. They be getting Rolls Royce trucks, all that shit. They be stealing everything, <laughs> sending that shit straight through the port docks. They, it's a whole documentary about that shit on Vice. Where wow. I need to see it's that. a billion dollar industry on its own. Damn, I know they sick right now. Damn, you said so, I need a Lexus, fam. <laughs> so on the sixty seconds. <laughs> so even let's say that they decide to sign whatever they need to for the port workers to get back to work. Let's say that they sign it Friday. They still set us back like three, four months. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah you feel least. me? Yeah. Like, I don't know if y'all. Gonna hurt. This yeah. shit can become serious extremely fast. Yeah, fast. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. We spend over $800 billion a year on military shit, so I feel like we got it, bro. Oh, for sure. No cap. I feel oh, like yeah. shit ain't gonna really do too much or nothing. Oh, I yeah. Mean, they better make a decision yeah. quick. I mean, oh yeah. Time to since, well. since we're on the topics of big things happening that the news won't tell you about, did y'all see all them countries that also dropped the U.S. dollar and they trying to sign up for BRICS? Yep. That's bad, right. bad, bad news, G. Mm. Not like Gucci Man BRICS and either for the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they done bricked our money, damn near everywhere. Mm. Yeah. That bully shit. You can only get get away with bullying people for so long. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Before a motherfucker decides, but all we gotta do is click up and jump. Let's jump him. Hey, what? That's what we need to do <coughs> as Americans, man. We realize we outnumber these motherfuckers 100 to 1. We can get the power back, but as long as we just sitting here talking about it, we ain't gonna win. That's the problem. Niggas gotta be willing to sacrifice. Yeah, no. Hey, that's what I said. Don't mind the business to pay me with my broke ass. Uh. I mean, so until till till it's a uh, hundred dollars for a gallon uh-huh. of milk, then it's like, damn, bro. So you know them uh, like them carriers you talking yeah, about? Yeah. We need one day. Of, like uh, we we need one day of extreme <laughs> violence. Oh, <laughs> so, nah, for real. <laughs> you know them the carriers we talking about? You know what I'm saying for for the water and shit for our yeah for all our uh, 
our need, our need for everything, for our things. Yeah. But uh, they saying we could be going to war with China in probably like three years, because uh, China can't pull their shit through uh Taiwan. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Taiwan blocking them and shit like that. So they like about to go to war over that shit. You know what I'm saying? I guess we gonna have to help them, c- considering that's where like Taiwan buying guns yeah, from. That's our big yeah. port. So, yeah, like. See, now the orange man going to pop yeah. out like, what did I tell you about China? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to tell you yeah. about China. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. Yeah, shit getting heavy, boy. Boy, what you going to do, y'all? About the cigarettes and shit. Mm. They been stopped Woo. selling uh, up in Columbus. They stopped selling Max. Newport. Menthols and shit. Damn, like, for real. No but when I was in Columbus, I was geek and I couldn't get no more fucking Newports. I'm walk, I done walked to three different stores. Darn. Look at him. Oh, he said, look. That, he said, it's a gift. Like it's a gift of a bottle. I don't live in Columbus. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't live in Columbus. I don't live there. Yeah, but that shit coming down here real soon, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And that's when I'm going to be going to Kentucky to buy cars. Yeah. I say that on here. That's a mission, boy. What? Kentucky ain't no fucking mission. For some cigarettes, it is. <laughs> I went to Kentucky to eat. You, so you gonna drive to go get you a cart? Uh, yes, sir. And then I'm gonna sell them bitches. I'm gonna turn hey, this guess into a hustle. Oh, man. Guess who's gonna be in business with you? My old lady. Pack, man. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I'm gonna have cigarettes for sale. Me too. Nah, you think That's I'm what I'm going to Kentucky to get. I'm cigarettes for them. sale. This right, man, dr- this I got a, a homie in Boston that says cigarettes is like $30 a pack right now. I'm going to be calling niggas. I'm like, boy, I got 